Hello everyone, my name is John, this is Thrower Gaming, and this week we're starting a new sort of segment video on the Smaller Game Spotlight. In this we're going to shed a light on a smaller title that otherwise you might not have noticed, I probably would not have noticed, uh, to expose some potentially fun games coming up in the future. This week we're taking a look at G.I. Joe Operation Blackout. It is a title that is likely not on many a person's radar. It hasn't been on my radar, but it could turn out to be a fun, nostalgia-filled ride, and not just nostalgia for the property of G.I. Joe, but nostalgia for the budget games of old. Those budget games of old that we used to get all of the time. The licensed property games that were rarely amazing, but still managed to regularly provide the young and young at heart with plenty of fun. They had their own charm to them. These are the Swimming in Sevens games. Games that are plenty rough around the edges but provide laughs through their goofs and exhilarating fun when played with friends. G.I. Joe Operation Blackout is a title that may be worth a second look. Or, for most of us, a first look. Operation Blackout is a title that is being published by Game Mill Entertainment a small, lesser-known publisher, one that I was not aware of, that has been tackling licensed properties, turning them into, well, games. They've published lackluster games like Nickelodeon Kart Racers, Cartoon Network Battle Crashers, but they've also published the surprisingly well-liked point-and-click adventure game, Goosebumps, The Game. Other upcoming games from Game Mill include a second Nickelodeon Kart Racers and a Cobra Kai fighter. Huh. But enough of the publisher, and back to the game itself. Publisher Game Mill touts that G.I. Joe is back, and says in regards to the game, quote, G.I. Joe Operation Blackout is a team-based third-person shooter where you play as your favorite characters from Team G.I. Joe and Team Cobra. Experience the action from both sides as you help G.I. Joe restore order and lead Cobra to world domination. There will be 12 characters to play as across 17 story missions, 18 awesome weapons, 36 weapon skins, 12 alternate character skins, and a series of uniquely devastating ultimate abilities. Wow. Remember when these were the sorts of numbers and points that would be found on the backs of boxes? And I'm just going to pull some numbers out from under my rump here, but if each mission is about 30 minutes long, that gives us a campaign that is around 9 hours. That falls within the standard 8-10 to 10 hour range for this type of game. One of the most standout points about this game, though, is that it will have both local co-op and local PvP. Being able to experience the story with a friend in good old couch co-op will certainly amplify the fun. And if you can get a group of four together to goof around with a competitive multiplayer, well, that's even more fun to be had. My mind drifts back to times with 007 Nightfire and the incredible local multiplayer that it provided. How fun that was. Will this game match that? Almost certainly not. <laughs> Probably not even close. This is a budget game. It'll cost $40 American or $50 Canadian. The gameplay will need to be at least functional and enjoyable to a certain degree to be fun even with a friend. The art style itself fits the property of G.I. Joe well, and if it is indeed a comfy, cozy third-person shooter, that might be all that Joe needs to provide some grand blasts for groups of friends. But this is definitely a title to play the wait and see game. Do not pre-order this. Wait for day one gamers to see how it plays. What others think? Are G.I. Joe fans, who are likely the ones to jump in right away, are they pleased with the game? This could very well be a dud. But it seems to have the potential to be a hidden gem, not a cult following sort of gem, but a swimming in sevens gem that provides a solid good time. With the game's release just around the corner on October 13th, G.I. Joe Operation Blackout is a game worth keeping an eye on. I reckon it's time to show these Cobra lives what G.I. Joe is all about! 